the green screen but don't have the space or can't afford one, then you need Personify Chroma Cam. This program will allow you to use your laptop webcam or any other webcam that you may have with a green screen effect. It's available for free to use forever with watermark or you can buy the Chroma Cam Pro for a one-time fee of $30. Check it out in the description below. Hey guys, welcome to Random Phantom. Today's tutorial is on ad blocking. So there we go. As you know and perhaps maybe you've used before, you can get ad blocking add-ons for your browser. I mean, it's, it's something that pretty much everybody knows about. And in case you haven't heard, there will be some browsers out there that might be shutting off support for ad blockers. So here we go. As you can see, we're on Tom's Guide. It's a, it's a pretty popular tech news site. But as you can see, Google Chrome may block ad blockers. So there we have it. And as you can see, this site is littered with ads itself anyway, by the way. So as you can see, if we scroll all the way to the top, you can like, you can't even see the headline for this article because the ads are so damn intrusive. I mean, we have half the screen covered in an advertisement. And then we have another banner ad at the bottom of the page. So there we go. I'll go ahead, I'll close this banner ad because we do have the option. If we can scroll on down and you'll be able to see that here we have an automatically playing video ad. Of course, if you're on a slow Wi-Fi like I am, that makes your internet browsing experience even slower because you're now loading up videos, which is really stupid if you ask me. Here's another ad. Here's another set of ads. I mean, sponsored links by Taboola. Yeah, all of those are ads. More ads. So as you can see, ads are getting pretty intrusive. Now if we go to my screenshots that I have saved, I can pull up a screenshot that I took of a page that really just pissed me off because of all the advertisements that are on it. I mean, that page that I loaded up to show you that Google might be blocking ad blockers pretty soon. It's a pretty bad page, but hey, it gets worse. We'll go ahead. We'll open up a folder full of screenshots. Here we have a screenshot of a website and it's plastered full of ads. You can't even see the article in this one. We have an ad on the left, an ad on the top, an ad where the article would normally be, an ad on the right side, and also a automatically playing video ad. How neat. I mean, that's pretty bad. So with this VPN, we'll be putting a stop to a lot of the advertisements. But wait, there's more. There's, I mean, if Google blocks ad ad blocking add-ons, you're now going to be more susceptible to guess what? Malvertising. These are advertisements, but they're not just advertisements. They are also viruses. And to get these viruses, you don't even have to click on anything. You just go to whatever website, your favorite news site, it could be foxnews.com, cnn.com, you just go to one of those sites and get served a malvertising ad. And there you go, now you're suddenly infected with malware. It could track your data, it could steal your info, it could steal your card number, I mean, it could do all sorts of things, I mean, it's malware. It can maybe even be ransomware, which locks your computer's files and then encrypts them so that 
all your family pictures, all your music, all your movies, TV shows, all your games, all your documents, everything is all gone. So if you don't want to be subject to a lot of malvertising and ads, you need to have an ad blocker, but you can't just get an ad blocker anymore if your browser starts cutting off support for those. So what the solution is? A VPN. So today, I'll show you how you can connect to my free VPN that I made available for public for you guys to use. All you gotta do is do a search on Google for Batty Block Free Cloud VPN. And it should be like the second result. So Batty Block dash free dash cloud dash vpn dot business dot site now this site will be subject to change i might set up another site later but for not, right now i'm just using google site builder i'm not liking their site builder so far it doesn't have as many features as i want i would actually in the end actually want to put ads on my own vpn site that way it can also double as a place for you to check if the vpn is working or not and also support me as well is I might decide later that I want to have a paid service so that would give me the ability to charge for a service and also have a free version available that you guys can use and currently this is using the free tier on Google Cloud so egress traffic is limited to one gig now what egress traffic is is basically if i upload data from the server to another server so outgoing traffic is limited to one gig now this vpn what it does is it only works with dns requests so the likelihood of hitting that is not really a big deal biz dns requests don't take much data it would take a lot of usage from you guys to end up reaching that limit. But if I have it where you can do the full tunnel instead of just a split tunnel, then it would reach it faster. So split tunnel is only available on this free service. If you want full tunnel, which changes your IP in addition to providing the ad blocking, so more privacy protections, then that's not available yet. I would have to buy a subscription to Google Cloud and I don't have money for that right now so I'm not going to do that. So what you'll need to do after you get to this page, scroll on down, click on read more on this how to connect to the VPN. You'll get this text format guide if you want to use that instead of this video it's there but you can also watch this video which I'm making right now where I will personally walk you through the steps. So what you want to do next is open up this drive.google.com in a new tab. Why I say a new tab is because you may want to come back and get this password. So right now I'll just go ahead, I'll copy that. And then I've opened this up in a new tab. Download this. It'll be a zip file when you go to download it. If your browser is giving you a binary file, you'll just need to rename it later. After you download it, then you have this zip file here. Right click and then you will want 7-zip perhaps to extract it extract to battery lock free cloud vpn and then it may prompt for the password just paste the password in there and it should extract there you go now it's extracted there are two profiles in here one is tcp and one is udp you'll see in the site where it says that the tcp is not recommended it's just provided as a backup the reason that is is some networks do not like the UDP version so like I went to Walmart like the other week and it doesn't like the UDP version it the internet doesn't connect with that so I gotta use TCP version and then the TCP version does work so there you go that is that after you do that then you need to get OpenVPN. So if you go to openvpn.net, scroll all the way down to where you have this list of operating systems, you'll see that it's available on Android, Mac, OS, Linux, Windows, and iOS. 
you can just click on the Windows Beta. This is the Windows portion of this tutorial and download it and then install it. Now for installing it, it will walk you through it. It's a pretty simple process. I don't need to guide you through it. After you install it, it should be in your start menu. You scroll on down to where it says open VPN connect and then launch it from there. After you launch it, it should open up in a window like this and then you'll have a orange and white plus button. You click on that to import profiles. Import from file and then you can drag and drop the profile into this box here. So I'll go ahead, I'll do that. And then you click on add. You can rename the title of this to anything that you want. Just leave the server alone. Now I already added this so I don't need to re-add it. Up next, go to the settings. It'll be right here. And then you can follow the directions on the site if you want. Or just listen to me. So here we go. We have our directions here. Reconnect on reboot. You, want, you might want to enable that. If you want the VPN to automatically connect when you reboot your computer, check this box. Seamless tunnel. Block internet while VPN is paused or reconnecting. I would recommend leaving that unchecked. The reason why is because if you're on a wireless device, so any device that uses cell towers or Wi-Fi routers to get access to the internet, well those devices frequently connect and disconnect. It may be split seconds, but they do that pretty naturally. So just leave that unchecked and you'll have a better experience. VPN protocol, just leave it on adaptive. It worked fine that way. IPv6 is something you need to change. Change it to IPv4 only tunnel. Connection timeout, change it to continuously retry. This is how long OpenVPN should try to connect before giving up. You set it to continuously retry for the most reliable connection. Allow compression, set it to downlink only. AES CBC cipher algorithm, don't check this box. We are using our own settings, which I've already set up in the profiles, which are optimized for the Google Cloud Platform. Minimum TLS version, just leave it as profile default. DNS fallback, be sure that you disable this. If it's enabled, then it will use Google DNS as a fallback. You don't want to do that. You want to use the DNS that is built into the VPN, which is in the profile and automatically set up for you. So if you enable this, you bypass that, you get advertisements and malware. Shortcut minimize, you can have that enabled if you want. I'd recommend having that enabled. That way you don't see this popping up every time you turn on your computer. Theme, if you want, you can set it to dark. That's just an extra tidbit you can have. And there you go. So now we can go test this page. So you do a search for a page full of ads. You scroll on down, there'll be a page here that says ash.blocker.com. Open that up in a new tab and you get this page right here. But right now I'm going to refresh this page. We are disconnected from the VPN. As you can see, this icon here is just clear right now it's just got the white outline so you should be able to see ads loading so here we go now we have an ad over here on the left and an ad underneath here so here's like the test do you see ads on the left of this website yes do you see ads under this article there's an ad right here so ads are showing up in general do you see ads yeah I see ads all right If you don't see ads, then the ad blocker is working. Right now we're disconnected and there's no ad blocking right now in Edge Browser that I have enabled. I didn't install anything. Right now I actually have Edge Browser is set up to be my amnesic browser, which is automatically configured to delete everything when I exit this browser. So as you can see down here on privacy and security, I have do not track and third party cookies are all blocked and 
this will clear my browsing history as well. But there you have it, that is ads loading on this page right now. We will now go ahead and connect to our VPN. So I'll select this VPN and it should connect here and you'll see this change to white. So that changed to white and we are now connected to the VPN. I will now refresh this page. Actually before I do that, I'll clear the browser cache right now. That way ads are not showing up because they're stored on his computer from the cache. Now, let's refresh this page. Actually screw that. Go over here and open it up in a new tab again. And as you can see, all right, did we really not get this connected and cleared oh it exited all right yeah it, it crashed if it closes just go ahead and reopen it and it should be all fine it is a beta right now on Windows so if it doesn't work absolutely perfectly flawlessly it's okay I mean, it is beta so they may get those bugs ironed out but right now we'll go ahead and we'll reconnect to our VPN. We're connected to the VPN. Clear the browser cache again. Refresh this page. Alright. Now that we refresh the page, no advertisements. And it loaded faster as well. The reason that is is because ads take up bandwidth just like anything else. We can go back to our article over here on Tom's Guide. Let's see what this page looks like after we used the ad blocking VPN. No longer do we have the Best Buy ad at the top of the page or the automatically playing video ad. As you can see, those are all gone. As well as the sponsored links, those are gone as well. So as you can see, this app blocker works very well. Now that is partially due to it having a very, very big block list. I mean, if you go over here, go back to the home page. We can see that it's powered by Batty, Badass block, Batty Block, which is the block list that we're using. It's actually something that I made and I'm the one who maintains it. So it's got a very nice big list of bad domains and things of that sort. So what this blocks is advertisements, malware, spyware, scams, porn, and other undesirable content. So if you have little children at home who shouldn't be looking at porn, well, you can use this to keep them from looking at porn as well. Now, this VPN is faster than the host file. If you put the host file on your device, so if you follow the instructions here, it will show you where to put the host file when you manually download it. You'll find that your internet browsing is much slower because your computer is the one doing all the processing to look through the list and block out every ad. With the VPN, all that load is put onto the Google Cloud Platform, which is faster at doing that. It's it's set up and optimized to do that. So there you go. So if you don't want to use the VPN and just want to go straight for using my ad blocking, you can do it this way as well. And they're using both the same block list. The block list is over 100 
megs right now. Our sh the version that is live on GitLab is slightly smaller than that, but I'll show you this. So right now it is 98.9 .9 megabytes. The actual block list that will, when I update it is over 100 megabytes. So if we go here, this list is actually so big that it crashes Notepad++ it, and many other text editors crash. So I have to use a special text editor to edit this. So I'll go ahead and I'll open up the special text editor. The text editor that I'm using right now is EM editor because it can handle text files that are this big. It's actually made for things like this. It's made for data manipulation and editing. And as you'll see, we have 5,429,004 lines. That is one domain per line, so that is how many domains that are being blocked. If we go back to the file, I click on it, you can see it's 181 meg. So that is how big my host file is. Compare that to the most popular host file, which is Steven's host file, I think. Steven Black's host file. This is the most popular host file. His host file is much smaller than mine. If we click on save, let's see if it gives us the size. Okay, whatever, it's not giving us the size. We'll go over here then. Actually, yeah. Okay, so right now I'll go ahead and I'll open up Chrome and I'll connect to my personal VPN admin panel. So I'm staying connected to the public one right now, but I will go ahead and I'll go to my bookmarks. Alright, let's, let's see. Okay, it's not bookmarking here. Open up my admin panel for this. Now, if someone tries to hack this, That will be pretty annoying if someone tries to do that, but we'll see. Okay, 10.8.0.1. Okay, I'll change this one to a two. open up Chrome again and I can show you the host file inside here okay whatever I don't need to show off the host file
I will just go ahead and now look for another host file. unwanted connections and here we go this is another very popular host file and it's the MVPS host and as you can see the host file in plain text form is 423 kilobytes so as you can see this is a very tiny host file compared to what I got so you can be rest assured that my host file is probably one of the best ones out there I mean, I'm literally blocking a whole shit ton of stuff, so that is Batty Block VPN for you. It's going to be very effective at reducing advertisements. So there we have it. We can go to the admin panel and I can show you the stats for this VPN right now. And you can see there's over 2 million domains on the blacklist. And 30 over 30% of DNS requests, which is what happens when you load a website. So say you load facebook.com, you're going to be requesting from the DNS service which is basically the telephone book of the internet so like it will give you the IP address of facebook.com when you type in facebook.com all this happens in the background in your browser whenever you go to another site well all the requests that are malvertising ads and tracking and all that sort of thing they go through here and they get blocked and over 30% of those requests are exactly that ads, malware, and tracking, scams, spams, inappropriate content, I mean, all sorts of stuff. I mean, a lot of it gets blocked. So there you have it. And just so you can see that we're not logging our personal information, I'll go ahead and I'll log into here. As you can see, I put a very, very long password on here, so it should be somewhat fairly secure. Now, it may not be perfectly secure, but we should be able to stop a lot of things from happening. Hmm, did I type it in wrong? Go to the dashboard. Come on. I might have to enable third party cookies for this. There we go. I guess it did not work, so if your internet stops working, all you have to do is just disconnect and reconnect. So there we go. We are now logged in and 
we can go ahead and I can show you things that have been loading up so I'll be able to see like what sort of websites we're going to and that sort of thing but as for clients so this would be your guys's concern if you think I'm logging your information none of it is being logged so you can rest assured everything's private now if you do decide to go to Pornhub I might see it in the block list but I won't know who done it so that's okay but I'll show you guys that we cannot have absolutely zero logging but I can guarantee that no personal information is logged so if we go here to privacy we have over here if I disable some logging we lose we start to lose features so it this here will disable the top domains and top ads tables on the dashboard so if I disable that then I won't know of sites that are loading that are making it through that have ads that need to be blocked so that's why we leave this enabled as an extra bonus since there's only one profile set that I gave you I can't identify specific users now if I made a profile for each one of you guys then I would be able to tell but since there's only two and they're going to be shared with everyone these are the only clients that will show up here and I'll be able to tell now I'll be able to tell that the UDP gets used more than TCP and that'd be about it but, but there you go as you can see like I have a Nvidia GPU in this laptop it's already trying to talk to home and that's the software in here my personify program here which is my chroma cam which gives you the special effects that I have on my screen recorder so that is my logo floating up from my face that is this here you can see it's talking to home now it needs to be able to talk to home to verify that I own this program and that's perfectly fine I do own the program I was actually given a free copy and here we go here's our sponsorship if you want to be able to have a cool effect like what I'm using right now in my webcam on this screen recording just go over to personify chroma cam and you can get it for free for unlimited use for forever with a watermark or you can pay to get rid of the watermark so there you go and also a sponsored message and you can see the sort of logging that takes place Oh, another thing is, I'll show you how you can test to make sure that it's working well as well. You can go to dnsleaktest.com. So, dnsleaktest.com. And you'll see that I have an IP address here and a location. This is not my actual location, so that's good. And then as you can see, all of these ISPs show up as Cloudflare. Now that is a good thing because we are using Cloudflare. Now if we turn off the VPN, I'll go ahead and I'll disconnect from it. And I'll go back to dnsleaktest.com. you'll see that it also takes longer to connect always click on extended test to get the best test results and as you can see we have my ISP's DNS here this is not a good thing <laughs> it's not supposed to be my ISP there I mean, we should be using our VPN instead.
so we go ahead and we connect to our VPN and we can now have our privacy back and our app blocking back so there we have it there's our Cloudflare we go over here to settings and you can see I have Cloudflare selected now part of the reason why this VPN also speeds up the internet is because it's not just blocking ads it's going through Google servers which Google servers are used for a lot of sites actually in case you didn't know Google went down a few, d few days ago or like last week and it affected a lot of sites so here we go this this outage here was actually back in 2013 Google do goes down for five minutes internet traffic drops 40 percent <laughs> Facebook and Google went down what happened <laughs> the day Google went down for five minutes so as you see whenever Google goes down it's not just Google that suffers it's the entire internet that suffers I mean if Google does go down this VPN goes down with it this is hosted on Google and there you go now if you're concerned about Google logging your information just because it's on Google's cloud service don't be concerned about that this if they was then if they was logging it, well, I'm pretty sure Google wouldn't have very many cloud customers on there. But I'm pretty sure government agencies and that sort of thing that might use Google Cloud, other enterprises that might use Google Cloud don't like being logged, so there you go. So that's it for the Windows portion of this tutorial. We'll go on with the Android portion pretty quick here so I'll go ahead and close the screen recording and then we'll be on with the next portion we are now back with the Android portion of this tutorial on how to connect to a block free cloud VPN so what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to the Play Store download two apps the first one is called open VPN connect I already have it downloaded so I won't download it again the next program is called Z-Archiver. Download that as well. Now go to your web browser, do a search for Batty Block Free Cloud VPN, or you can go down to the description of this video and click on the link there. Scroll on down to where we have the Google Drive link, open it up in a new tab. Click the download button. As you can see it gave us a different name than what we want so you want to name this to whatever you want to name it to but you want to make sure it's dot zip at the end so there we go Batty block free cloud VPN dot zip. It will now download that file and we can open up the archiver. Go to the download folder, scroll on down to where we have that file that we just downloaded, and then tap on it, click on extract to archive name. Paste the password in there, click done, click OK. There we have it, it has been decompressed. Now you can click on that file, open, and then open with open VPN profile. If you need to scroll down the list to find it, do that. Otherwise you can click on just once. And there we have it. We imported the profile. You can go back to Z Archiver and then click on open and import the second profile. 
after you do that then you can go to settings now I already imported them so I don't need to import them again so just like in the PC version you right click and you click on the top left hand corner and then you get the settings here battery saver I recommend leaving it off to be honest this does not eat up a whole ton of battery and having the VPN be turned off when you turn off your screen might bother you if you want a faster connection reconnect on boot you can enable that if you want the VPN to turn on every time you turn on your device seamless tunnel you can check that box if you want to or not I'm going to uncheck this box VPN protocol leave it on adaptive IPv6 change that to IPv4 connection timeout change it to continuously retry compression change it to downlink only you can leave this box unchecked and secure algorithms you can leave it checked you can leave minimum TLS checked but DNS fallback you want to make sure that is unchecked if you leave it checked the VPN does not work shortcut minimize you can leave that checked after you do that you click on save and there you have it now we can go to our web browser and right now we are disconnected from the VPN so we can do a DNS leak test so go to DNS leak test dot com and we should be able to see our ISP IP address for the DNS so all right DNS leak test dot com go come on do I need to click on the other button As you can see by a bunch of the tabs I had open, I've done a quite a bit of research on ad blocking to make this service work as well as I can. All right, something is being funny right now. So we will go ahead and I'll, I'll change my browser. We will use, um, let's see, we'll use Chrome, yeah. All right, so now we go here, DNS leak test, click on extended test, and we can see that we are using only one DNS server. That is CenturyLink's DNS server. All right. That is pretty crappy. Let's go change that. Connected battery bot free cloud VPN. And we'll go ahead and we will change that. We're connected. Now we can go back to DNS leak test. Do an extended test. And now we are using all Cloudflare DNS through my DNS server. All right, now in the PC version, I showed you an article from Tom's guide where Chrome decides that perhaps they want to block ad blockers. So here we go. We are using Chrome right now. Now this update may or may not have the ad blocker add-ons disabled. So we will go ahead and we'll just, we're using Chrome right now and we'll prove that 
We are blocking ads. Chrome blocks ad block. There we go. Here is the Tom's Guide article. Let's not open up the Google AMP version. Let's open up the full desktop site. Why the full desktop site? That way we can get the full ad experience that, well, we won't get. <laughs> We won't be getting that unless Google Chrome has been set up to bypass VPNs and if that's the case then well then we have another way we can try to attack Google Chrome for DNS probe finish bad config Really? Nah. Alright, so now we loaded up the full desktop page. Remember when we tested earlier we had a Best Buy ad? We don't have any big ad like that at the top of the page now. Nor do we have an automatically playing video ad. Instead we have a nice clean ad free experience. Alright, now let's disable the VPN. Yeah, we want to disable it. Refresh this page and let's watch all the ads flow in. Alright, there we go. Now we're starting to see the ads. And as you can see, it's taking this page longer to load. Hey, at least we didn't load the big banner ad at the top. But we got this big ad at the bottom. We have another big ad right there. And then here we start with the sponsored links by Tabula. Alright. And looky here, we're trying to load yet another ad. There, here, here it comes. Here comes the video ad. So there we have it. We got our video ad loaded up there. Oh, and it prompted us for... Really? Alright. So here we go. We got the video ad. We have advertisement right there. And as you can see, this page has become obnoxious. <laughs> we scroll up and here comes the video ad. Now it's covering content. Would you look at that? This is why we need ad blockers. So there we go. That is how you set up Batty Block Free Cloud VPN so that you can get rid of all these obnoxious advertisements. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click the like button and subscribe until. and click the notification bell. That way you can learn whenever I upload a new video and thanks for watching peace